Here it is, Canada, our first of many installments for our April 8th total solar eclipse. Let's run the computer models through time, and I'm going to show you a problem when it comes to long-range forecasting. Notice it's getting a little fuzzy this upcoming weekend. We know where the ridges and troughs are going to be, the areas of high pressure and low pressure, but when you go out about seven days, that sketch becomes a little bit more rough. If you go out 10 days, you are nearly blind. Computer models become quite poor, picking up on those finer details in the atmosphere. So we have to rely on a historical context here. This is every April 8th. This century, you can see how variable the atmosphere behaves. So here are the odds. Eastern Canada, 60 to 70% chance of clouds in and around southern Ontario and southern Quebec, but that pushes as high as 80% when you work towards Atlantic Canada. Here's an average daytime high across eastern Canada for April 8th. You see a lot of single digits. We're not forecasting an extreme pattern. We pick that up in the atmosphere by now. So there's no mid-20s in the forecast or daytime highs below freezing. That's how variable April 8th is. If you want the warmer weather, that's down towards Texas and Arkansas, where you have a potential 20% chance of cloud cover. So this is how our forecast is going to evolve. Right now, we are there looking at the historical probabilities. That next approach in a few days, we'll be nailing down the dominant storm track and adjust the probability accordingly.